Hey guys, Electric Ninja here, and welcome back to Electric Ninja's Lab. In today's video, I want to discuss what I think might show up in My Hero Academia for the next season. Basically, what is going to be added to the season. Now, unfortunately, if you guys uh, watch the... If you guys have read the manga, then you know that a lot of the first arc of this season is going to be involving, well, the single, uh, dealing with the jobs that Deku, Uraraka, and, uh, Kirishima all had, the work studies or whatever, and... I'm kind of wondering what exactly is going to happen with the others. The thing is that they never mention anyone else's work studies. Like, none of the other kids have one, or if they do, it's unclear. Um, I never once heard of anything for, uh, or I didn't see anything when I was reading through it about any of the others. So... What exactly could that be? And then I thought, oh, well, duh. The two characters who barely got any love, but everyone loves these characters, is going to be the whole part of this first season that we're probably going to get something about is going to be Kachan and Todoroki. The thing is that each of these characters, these two characters actually do get a little bit of love in one of the volumes, where they are just complaining about trying to get their provisional licenses again, and they are having a, a hard time. So I could actually see that being a very important part to the season. Basically, it's kind of like how we got the Silky situation in last season, but instead, we're, de or, was it last, no, was it two seasons ago? I don't know, it's really hard to keep track of this stuff now, but, um, when Sugi was, uh, was going off with Silky, basically what this could be is it would be Todoroki and Kachan going over to, what, it, uh, to fight and train to get their professional licenses. Definitely something that will be probably a decent amount of fun. And I, for one, am super excited to see what happens. And I know that probably a lot of you guys are as well to see, oh, yeah, these guys are definitely going to be doing that. And considering the fact that the manga doesn't tackle this topic at all, at least in what I've seen, does make me think that that could be a possibility. Especially considering the fact that uh, the entire arc, <laughs> the first arc of this season, is going to take up the majority of the season. Unless, for some reason, they decide that they're going to go the extreme route and do a very long season. Because we have been getting a few of those where it's like 40 episodes now, instead of the average like 26 um, so if we do get that, then I'm all for it. I would love to see a 40 episode season of My Hero Academia, but I don't necessarily see that as being the actual eventual thing that we're going to be getting. But whatever the case is, I'm excited to see My Hero Academia again, especially since we only have about a month before we finally get to see that. So... You guys can know that once we get to that, I will be talking about it as every episode comes out, just like I've been talking about Miraculous. But anyways, guys, let me know down in the comments below if you're excited for My Hero Academia. And also, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe and ring that notification bell if you're new, because that way you can see all of these videos, because we do a lot of theory videos on this channel, as well as reviews of the different episodes of different shows. But anyways, guys, 
I have been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.